Hey guys, welcome to my video on how to build an air-powered egg cleaner. For this project, I used all half-inch pipe and fittings. The fittings that you're going to need are going to be three elbows that have slip fittings on both sides, two T's, all, once again, all slip fittings, one slip elbow with a side connection, all slip, and one elbow that has a slip fitting and a half inch threaded fitting here. Now into this one is where you're going to connect your air hose to. So now we need a half inch threaded male to quarter inch threaded female. That will go into this elbow. The next up, a quarter inch male to quarter inch female quarter turn ball valve. And this is how you will regulate your air pressure. That will go into this one, like that. You can see that there. And then lastly, a quarter inch male air hose connector. So that's what that's going to look like. Now, one note on your air compressor fitting. There are several different types. So make sure that you get the right one to connect into your existing system. Uh, there's some connectors that are universal, they'll fit multiple different types of the males. Others, they're specific to one type, so be safe and go with whatever you've already got. Other items that you will need are a drill, drill bits, pipe thread tape to seal off your air hose connections, and something to cut your PVC pipe with. I used a reciprocating saw. To start off, cut your PVC pipe into the lengths that you're going to need. For the longer pieces, I used three five and one quarter inch lengths, and for the shorter connections, I used four two and one quarter lengths. And for the longer section that goes out of the bucket, I cut a piece at 14 inches long. After you cut your lengths of pipe, be sure to clean up any burrs that might be on the inside or the outside of it. That way, you can ensure that your fittings are going to fit really snug around the pipe and those little pieces aren't going to mess anything up. Next up, assemble all the pieces for the base part of your cleaner and make sure that they actually fit into your bucket. For my bucket, with those lengths, it fit perfectly into the bottom. However, if yours is a different bucket, it might be a little bit smaller, so just make sure that that fits down in there all right. Now you can drill the holes into your pipe. Next up, you can attach your long vertical piece to the base and then attach your 90 degree elbow that has the slip and the threaded ends to it. Now before you attach that first metal piece, be sure to wrap the threads in some pipe thread tape. Uh, this will help make sure that you don't have lots of air leaking around those threads. In addition to the egg cleaner, I decided that I wanted to build a wire bucket that I could use to collect the eggs directly into and then drop it right into the egg cleaner. And for that, I used hardware cloth with one inch openings. One modification you may want to implement is to put a T directly before your ball valve. That way, you can put a male adapter on the one end, a female adapter on the other, and then you can leave your egg cleaner hooked up all the time. And then you still also have access to an air compressor port if your compressor only has one. That way you can still run other air compressor implements and leave your egg cleaner hooked up all the time. Okay guys, went out and collected a few eggs. We're going to give this thing a try. So while the egg cleaner did its thing, I cleaned up the mess I made. It's been 15 minutes now. 
Let's see how this thing did. These were pretty clean to start with. None of them were super dirty. But, so far, they look pretty good. So these eggs do have a few spots on them here and there, but those are just fine. Okay, well out of two dozen eggs, a little over two dozen eggs, there were two of them that still had a little bit of stuff left on them. Okay, so just as an experiment, I stuck them back in for a little bit longer, checked them a few minutes later, and they were perfectly clean. So, I think it works just fine. Maybe I didn't have the air up high enough, I don't know. But, seems to work pretty good. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, uh, go ahead and put those down below and I will do my best to give you a very quick reply. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you guys next time.